All right, hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. And in this one, I'm gonna be talking about a budget native 1080p projector from a company called Rayphoto. And in the past, I've actually done two other projector reviews on this channel, but they've both been 720p projectors. And for the first time, I'm doing a native 1080p projector review. And the great thing about this is that it's actually only $140. And if you guys like this video, be sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button so you guys see more videos like this one. Taking a look at what comes in the box, we first get a few accessories for the projector, including a power cable, remote, HDMI cord, and AV cables. The last part of the unboxing includes a carrying case, which is actually a full backpack that can store everything you need to get the projector set up to start watching your content, which is a great addition, especially at the price point. And before getting into my thoughts on the projector itself, I first want to talk about some of the features and the specs of the projector. Starting with the quality itself, the projector has a native 1920x1080p by resolution with LCD display technology, a 10,000 to 1 contrast ratio, and 9,500 lumens of brightness. For a projector with these specs and these features, you'd probably expect to pay somewhere between double and triple the cost of this projector, which comes to show you how affordable projectors have become. With the screen size going all the way up to 300 inches, you could easily replace getting a budget TV if you do watch your content mostly in a dark environment. The projector also comes with built-in 5 watt speakers. If you're thinking about just using this projector for some casual YouTube videos and some casual TV shows here and there, the 5 watt speaker should probably just be good enough, but if you are looking to watch some serious movies and kind of build more of a budget home theater setup, then I'd definitely recommend going out and getting an external speaker. Also, one pretty cool feature about this projector, especially at the price point, would have to be that the fact that you can actually cast your entire phone over to the projection, whether it's an iPhone or an Android phone. But unfortunately, when I actually tried it out with my iPhone, the image was actually pretty blurry and wasn't you know, good enough to actually watch your content. So if you're not gonna be watching content and you're kind of just going through pictures or something else with your phone, and you're just trying to cast your phone over to your projection screen, then it should probably be fine. But if you are planning to use like your phone to cast some content over to the projection, I'd probably recommend just going instead with like a Roku or an Apple TV. Now to talk about some of the physical parts of the projector, we have the focus ring and the keystone adjustment on the top. The keystone adjustment allows you to adjust the tilt of the projection to align it properly to the screen or to the wall. As for the ports on the side of the projector, we have the input for power, a line out port for your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, two standard USB type A ports, an AV port, and most importantly, two HDMI inputs. Also, taking a look at the buttons on the top of the projector, we have some touchscreen buttons which actually allow you to navigate the menu screen and adjust the volume. Now to talk about one of the most important factors in actually buying a projector and probably the reason that you're actually watching this video if you are thinking about buying this projector, would have to be the image quality. My first impressions of actually taking the projector out of the box and using it with a blank white wall is actually surprisingly pretty good. At this point, I was pretty used to seeing some 720p projectors, and now using a native 1080p projector was actually a pretty big jump, which is probably why I thought the image quality was pretty good at first glance. The video quality had a good amount of contrast and wasn't too pixelated, but it didn't have the best brightness. I tested the projector out on a blank white wall at around 10 feet away, which gave a pretty big 80 to 100 inch projection. With the white blanket or a proper screen, the image would look even brighter and have better contrast, but since I didn't have a proper screen at the time, the wall was kind of the best I could work with. Also, testing out the projector with the lights on in the room gave an image that was pretty much unwatchable, so if you are planning to use this projector uh, to watch some content, you have to make sure that the room is pretty much completely dark. And also, with some of the other 720p projectors that I tested out before that are pretty budget friendly, around like $100, they would have some blurry corners on the side of the projection. But with this projector, there really wasn't that issue. And if it was, it wasn't like apparent at all. And you could pretty much just watch your content without noticing any of those problems. So pretty much my main conclusion for the video quality of the actual projector itself have to be that the video quality is pretty decent, but it's not gonna blow you away. If you're planning on having a movie night outdoors in your backyard, or just in your dorm room, or even just your bedroom, then this projector would work pretty well. With the projection going all the way up to 300 inches, it can make for a really good time with your family and friends if you're watching some sports or movies, and it's gonna be a really good way to actually not use a TV, because you know, you always use TVs and it kinda gets, and maybe not boring, but it gives you a little bit more excitement to use a projector. So it could be a really great way to kinda get into that with a really cheap price of only $140. And honestly, even if the quality is not going to be as good as your standard 1080p or your 4K TVs, it's still going to be a really fun way to consume your content. As for the other factor, making this projector more of an all-in-one projector would be the fact that it does have built-in 5 watt speakers, which surprisingly actually weren't too bad. 
If you're planning on using this projector for some casual viewing, just for some YouTube videos and TV shows here and there, then I definitely wouldn't recommend upgrading the speakers of the projector itself, but I just recommend getting some external speakers in the case that you do have a budget home theater setup or you just want some better audio. Now, even though this isn't directly related to the sound quality of the projector, uh, the projector actually does have some fan noise, which is audible if you're not watching content, but if you are and you do have the speakers on, then you pretty much don't hear it too much, but this is what it sounds like. You what? Don't freak out. I know you're excited. We are going to drive you to school on a cross-country road trip as a family. Why not pull up to school in old Iron Eagle here? It's got carrots. So now that we actually talked about the features and the video quality and the audio quality of this $140 projector, let's talk about if it's actually worth your money and who it's actually for. So after testing out this projector for a few weeks now, I have to say that my main conclusion would be that you're actually not going to be blown away by the video quality or the audio quality, especially if you're used to watching your content at least on a 1080p display. And if you're someone who's actually planning on using the projector every single day to consume some content, I would definitely just recommend going for a budget TV instead since if you do want to watch your content midday when it is kind of bright outside, you're not going to be able to see the projection screen nearly as well as you would as if you're watching it on a TV. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys did enjoy this one, definitely be sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button and that like button. And thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.